Hey guys, my name is Mark Skim and welcome back to my channel. Now this is my 2013 BMW 335i. And as you can see right here, it decided that it wanted to be a pirate. And my headlight is out. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to change out a headlight. Now, as you just saw, you saw me jacking up the front of the car. Uh, I'm gonna take here a second here just to explain what I'm doing. Uh, now, on newer vehicles, they have to make things a little bit more difficult. Now, if we take a look here at my light, uh, this is the low beam light, this is the light that I need to change. Now, to change that light, let me get a little light out here and we'll go in here. Now, that light is behind the plate back there. Now, to get to that plate, we got it's pushed up against the fender liner. So what we gotta do is we gotta remove the wheel and we gotta remove that fender liner just so that we can have access to that light. Now, I don't know why they couldn't just make it where either A, I have access to get to that cover or B, make it so I can remove the headlight. Now to remove the headlights on these, we gotta remove the front bumper just so that we can get access. Oh, we also, I believe, have to remove the fender liner as well because there's some like secret bolt hidden back behind the light here. And the only way to get to it is to remove the fender liner. Now, I don't know why they designed things this way, but that's how it's done. So that's just how we're gonna fix it. All right, so I'm going go ahead and just take off this wheel real quick. Uh, I've already kind of loosened it up, so it should come off pretty easily. Go ahead and pull this out of the way. Look at that. All right, now that we got the wheel out of the way, uh, there's a couple bolts that we got to take out just to get to the fender liner, or to get the fender liner out. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do. There's three of them here on the top. There's one 10 millimeter in the back right here, and then there's a couple that go along the edge here, and a couple on the bottom. So once I get all of those out, the fender liner will just fall out, and we'll be able to access the lights. All right, so now I've removed all those bolts. Uh, this should just come out pretty easy. Let me see if I removed all of them. Actually, take that back. I did. I missed one right here. All right. And then this should just come right off. Let's see here. Did I miss any more? Oh, I did. There we go. All right, let's see here. It's gonna come off now. All right, so once you get all the bolts out, just kind of maneuver this a little bit, kind of slide it back, and then this one. That'll slide right out. There, now we got all this room. We can come in here. All right, so for the low beam, I need to remove this plate. Uh, once we get that plate out, we can change the light bulb. So once we get all five of the bolts off, the cover just comes right off. Uh, you can take a look at it there. So there's just five little bolts that hold it on. Now if I take, bring you guys in here. Let's see. All right, so now I got the cover off for you guys. Uh, this right here. That is the ballast for the low beam. Um, these are xenon lights, so they need the little ballast in there to make them nice and bright so you can blind other people. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Uh, there's just a little plug on the bottom, unplugs, and then all we gotta do is we gotta come in here and release this. See if I can do this or not. All right, so I took a minute and looked around online. This is actually a different style than all the ones that I've seen for the 335i. Um, all the ones that I could find have the little clips that go, oh, wow, there you go. Um, so they have the little clips that's gonna go over the back of them. This is actually a new different style. This one's actually really easy. All you do is twist it, like 45 degrees or so, and then the light comes right out. So all we gotta do is we just gotta replace this piece, which I already happen to have a new one. 
if I can find where I set it down. Oh, there it is. So I just got a new bulb to put in. So we just got to put that back where that one went. Try to be careful not to break the bulb. All right, twist that thing back so it's square. Oh, I thought the camera's going real crazy now. If I can, there we go. Back square in place. Plug that connector back in. And as with everything I do, I like to test it out, make sure that it works before I put everything back together. Otherwise, I don't want to have to take it back apart just so I can do it one more time. All right, as you can see, light is working just fine now. Nice and bright, I can see. Uh, and honestly, they kind of look like they match. So I'm not even going to worry about changing the passenger one out. I don't think there's really a need to. Uh, I did get another one, so if that one does go out, I'll go ahead and go through the work and change that one out too. All right, guys, so I put everything back together now. As you see, the car's back on the ground. Now I put the fender liner in and the wheel back on, something pretty easy. Uh, double checked my headlight, make sure they work. So, well, I just can't see it right now. Lights aren't on. But anyway, if you guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I post a video, you guys know. Also, I'll leave my link to my Instagram down below. Follow me if you'd like. I post there from time to time. Thank you guys. I'll see you next video.